Hello. Hello, and happy St. David's Day to all you Welsh people. First of March, leeks and sheep and stuff. <laughs> Ben, I would like to get your thoughts on uh, some research that I've done. Um, the futuristic kitchen. Things, appliances, ways of eating food uh, in the future. So first up, Katharina Unger. I'm sure I've got that wrong. But she's designed the Farm 432, which is basically a device that um, provides protein from the larvae of black soldier flies. Now what happens is you uh, put some of the larvae in the top. The flies fly around. They fall in love one thing leads to another. And then they have, uh, they lay their eggs, and then the eggs hatch, and then the larvae grow, and you eat it. Right. <laughs> now, so it's sort of leading on from what we were talking about from uh, last week. Yeah, we know uh, insects are protein, protein heavy. Well, these are really protein heavy. They reckon that the, it's called the 432 because I like numbers. It's, uh, it takes 432 hours to produce 2.4 kilograms of protein from one gram of, of eggs. Sounds quite efficient. Yeah. Ha, ha, 432 hours, what's that in days? Don't know. Next up, the bio fridge. Right. Now this looks great, may finish there. It's got that green gel. Wow. And what you do is uh, you put your products that you want to keep cool into that green gel. This was designed by a guy called Yuri Dimitrev. From what I can see, he's yet to discover how the green gel actually cools the stuff. He says it's, it will keep the, keep the products cool through luminescence. By the looks of it, he needs to sort of crack thermodynamics to get it to work. That is the Barry Taylor fridge right there. Looks good, Look but there's good. no substance. Someone it else will work it out. Work. Okay, let's talk about the summer bar. So these little things on the side are yep. summer pods. Um, you basically fill those with um, ingredients and the summer bar will create you a bitter infused cocktail that you've clicked and selected on an app in five seconds. Tom Cruise would be out of a job if this was made in the 80s. I want to talk to you about 3D food printing. 3D printing, yep. uh, it's kicking off at the moment. Um, people are predicting that we will never ever buy a product again in the future, that we will actually buy plans from someone, yeah. plug them into our 3D printers at home and then make our own products. But a company called TNO, in fact there are lots of different companies, have um, created a 3D food printer. Basically it's the very beginning of 3D food printing. It's putting raw ingredients into vials and having an edible product at the end. They think that their 3D food printer will eventually enable humans to print meals specifically tailored for the individual based on history, so what you've eaten before, the nutritional content within your body, so the nutrients that your body needs, and your mood even. Which is a bit like, it's a bit like having your own robotic chef. Chef. Another thing about food printers are that NASA are actually funding a 3D food printing scheme or program, um, and they've already made a 70 second pizza. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is prepare you for the fact that one day robots are gonna take your job. Dare to be different. How about you guys send us how you think we'll be eating our food in the future. Um, I'm geeky about this, I'll admit to it. He's definitely geeky about this. So um, let us know, like we're really interested in it's a big, it's a big deal, it's a big topic. And then from a place somewhere in the future to a place a week ago today, uh, when we did our fridge cam, this was comment of the week. So the comment comes from Multi Equations. Multi Equations, the username. Yes, okay. that's it, that's what drew my attention to it. I like multiple equations. Mathematical. Only women can do it, apparently. What well, multitask? Have multiple equations. Well, when Jamie said he wanted the soup on his chest, Ben had no reaction. Demonstrates the depth of their friendship. I was a bit confused <laughs> by that, but it was quickly followed by this comment. Yep, there's always that weird kid that eventually you get used to. And I feel like that summarises oh, Jamie spot on. 100%. We actually have dials in the back of our heads and we just turn the, it's the Jamie dial. You it's just the volume. You just let him chat away. Put him on mute and just get on with your life. And then to this week's charts from uh, Sorted Food, tenuous link this week, we always try and find something to tie all these together. Okay. Do you remember your first time? Of what? Your first time you used the app. The first upload on the app. I do. Popcorn. popcorn. I made popcorn. There we go. So this week it's all about firsts. Okay. People's firsts upload. First! So number five, we have Sumai. Mm -hmm. Nice dumpling, amazing step-by-step -step processes. That was by Vuki. And that was her first. That was her she first. She has started well. She has, all of these have started well. They're really strong first uploads. Okay, hit me next one. Number four, we have Fig and Walnut Energy Boosting Snacks from your average teapot. Wow. In Germany. In position number three, from Stouty1997, it's Jack's Turkey Sandwich. 
Nice. That is epic. Oh, look at that. Proper I'm doorstep. So hungry Proper for a sub. So hungry for a turkey sandwich. Unfortunately, it's Jack's. In second position this week from Himmy Lou, we have very beautiful saffron poached pears. Oh, nice. How are coming off of those? On top this week is uh, an incredible recipe from Kiel K, combining two beautiful things, marshmallows and Oreo, in an Oreo marshmallow oh, wow. bar. Look at no that. Point. I should point out that was their first at the point of filming this, but there's every chance they're already uploading more because everyone is. It's addictive. I'm now using this. Miss it, miss much. out, kids. So head over to Sorted Food, find your favourites, and give them a like to push them to the top, or upload your own photos and recipes. And as if all of that wasn't enough, here are what we have done on the internet this week. Pow! As a lot of them, the Tuesday recipe was actually three recipes. We gave you three for the price of one. Yeah, loads. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A one pot cook on Thursday, throwback. Think of it like a student family favorite. It's easy, if you're land. a student or you've got a family, make it. Then on Friday, another beautiful story from Helen in Orange County. It's a sorted story. Until next week. Bye, ciao.